We are back here at the main stage for RCTV at the Reading Falls Street Fair, and we are privileged to have Monica Medeiros with us, who is a candidate for state senate here in the 5th Middlesex District. That is correct. Excellent. And uh, so welcome here, Monica. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here today. Great. It's great to have you. Yes, great thank you. And, and, and you're enjoying the uh, Reading Street Fair today? Yeah, we sure got a beautiful day, that's for sure. So wonderful, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, have you had a chance to look around at a lot of the booths, or are you, you know, what are you doing here today? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I've been, been uh, walking up and down. I've been out. We have been handing out balloons, uh, having a great day. It's so nice to see so many businesses out here getting to showcase themselves, mm -hmm. so many community groups, so many people, residents. You know, I think it's really a beautiful day it brings community together absolutely um, so what are you um, looking most forward to do the um, entering this Senate race <laughs> well uh, you may know I, I ran in a special election mm -hmm. in April on April 1st and uh, you know I hadn't been planning to do that I'm on the Board of Aldermen in Melrose um, in my fourth term there previously on the school committee there and I was pretty you know I was pretty happy and content doing things there and as you know Catherine Clark won the congressional seat and uh, this seat opened up I kept getting encouraged why don't you run for this and I don't know how many people I said no no but you know I after a while I was like geez nobody's stepping up to do this I need to do this and um, you know, I got into it, and uh, you know, I think there's a kind of a, a, a clear difference between uh, myself and, and my opponent. Um, and you know, we came, we went through this in April. Um, I came really close. I won here in Reading, yep. uh, so I want to thank everybody for their vote. <laughs> thank you very much, and I hope you'll consider voting for me again this November. Uh, and I came really close overall with 47 percent of the mm -hmm. vote. So, you know, the kinds of things that we set out to do to you know really help families and help people uh, all those goals are still there and Definitely. you know I, I really want to, to do my best to go up to the state house bring a fresh perspective and uh, and see what I can do sure as sure. you uh, seek to go to the state house in Boston uh, after the election in November what do you kind of see as the most important issue facing uh, this district and the Commonwealth in general yeah oh, well, I mean we have to keep we have to keep a good eye on our budget. I mean, there's so many things that we want to do, and we know we can't do all of them. But, but uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a local elected official. I've been very involved at the local level in, in my community. Um, we've worked really hard, and I think we've done a good job of keeping within our budget and managing the city well and still managing to grow the city. And I, I want to see us do more of that up at the State House. And, and I know, you know, again, as a local official, I see how important it is for us to have local aid. That's, you know, our, our tax dollars that go up to to Beacon Hill via our income tax, our sales tax, and so on. And it's, you know, really important to get those back to the community where we can make the decisions to send them. And the, the things that we do in the local level, like our schools and our, you know, public safety, police, fire, our roads, they're really so crucially important. And I think sometimes they get, it kind of gets, uh, it doesn't get the attention that it needs mm -hmm. and deserves. So, you know, really fighting strongly for, for more local aid is, is really my top priority. Absolutely. Absolutely. So have you had a uh, favorite booth here at the, at the fair today? Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 That's a hard one. I just, uh, I, I can't wait to go back and have a cannoli. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. So. definitely. That's next up on my agenda. Next up on your agenda <laughs> is to go uh, get a cannoli. Yes, you heard right. it here first. All right. Well, thank you very much for being with, with us here today, Monica, and uh, we wish you good luck uh, on Tuesday, of course, in the primary and then yes. again in November. Yes, absolutely. I really appreciate being here. And, uh, and I should just say, if anybody wants to find out a little bit more about me, mm -hmm. they can visit my website, which is www dot vote monica dot com uh, i'm also up on facebook at uh you know facebook dot com slash vote monica so uh, i welcome hearing from you and uh, of course like us right <laughs> absolutely well thank you so much for um coming and taking the time to chat with us thank yes, you very thank much you thank you for doing this yeah, thank yeah. you for coming on out to the street fair as well thank you we've um, been talking with monica medeiros who is running for state senate here in the fifth middlesex district and we're going to toss it out now to our roving reporter ryan panette